It is 7.30 a.m. We are currently just outside Cologne. We have a five hour drive ahead of us now to get to Leipzig, where I'm speaking at a conference, and I'm on stage at 4 p.m., but I need to be there for one, so we need to get going soon. some of the driving kind of 50 miles from Kessel and still about 120 miles from Leipzig so I'm in Leipzig and I'm walking to the conference center now where I'm taking part in a panel discussion and then I've got a gig at nine with musicians I've never met before and music I've never played before such is the joy of a life of a jazz musician so it should be fun and interesting anyway um, no idea what I'm going to say at this panel just found out I've got to do another panel tomorrow afternoon as well so it's all fun and games so I'm gonna to have to get off the camera phone now and figure out where this conference is normally this hits me kind of four or five days in but I am really missing Katie and the kids today I think it's because I'm tired but I just really am missing them this may very well turn into a two-part vlog because I have very little battery left on here we're just going to the rehearsal now with these guys from New York who just told me that the last guy who played saxophone for them was a certain Miss Chris Potter goodness knows what they're going to expect from me tonight it's Saturday morning I feel human again I've had in the previous 48 hours about nine hours sleep over 48 hours not enough sleep for me so yesterday I was kind of just walking through in this kind of zombie state so it's now nearly 11 a.m. and I've kind of I've been up for an hour or so but kind of I've had the opportunity to catch up on my sleep which has been really good so what I'm doing now I'm trying to catch up on a bit of admin I need to do a little bit of practice and then I want to go and see the city and I've got to get to a lunch for 12 30 so how I'm going to do all that in such a short space of time I'm not sure last night's gig was incredible so there was myself from the UK bass player from New York singer from New York and a piano player from Germany thrown together um, to sort of play these compositions that this guy from Germany had done. It was fantastic, really on the edge of the seat kind of stuff, flying by wire, but it was really, really interesting. I had a great time. There are a couple of things I'm actually going to use from that, the basis of my practice this morning, just a couple of chord changes that were caught me out a little bit. I need to make sure I get around them. But what impressed me most, especially about Ike, the guy, from, the bass player from New York, um, who has played with so many great jazz musicians, including, as he said, the last sax plum player he played with was Chris Potter. So there's like no pressure there, Dan. But just the whole general or our musicianship of time, and I say this a lot to my students, your time feel is crucial. And all musicians love playing with people who have good time. And these guys had amazing time last night. So I had an amazing time last night. Anyway, I'm going to crack over my practice and then I hope to show you a little bit of Leipzig. Not as much as I'd like to because I've got to kind of be here, there and everywhere. It's very much, it's better than a normal touring situation where quite often you literally see the airport, the hotel, the gig, the hotel, the airport. I've got a little bit more time to be able to get around the city, but not a huge amount of time. Mm-hmm. 
this is St Thomas's Church Leipzig where J.S. Bach is buried and where he was the organist until his death in 1750. So pretty amazing place, home of probably most of Western music and I'm hoping I'll be able to get in and have a quick look before I go to this lunch. swagger for the kids but you can't see me because of the sun I need to get back now and with it being Germany you know that we're gonna serve lunch dead on time so I'm probably gonna be late so I better get my feet moving so basically what I learned in there is that old Johann Sebastian has the RAF to thank for being in St Thomas's Church buried because he wasn't actually buried there originally and uh, he's been moved twice mostly due to British bombing Leipzig is a really nice city it's supposed to be the up-and-coming city in Germany it's got quite a lot of tech startups here not that I've seen many the biggest thing I've noticed is some of the stunning old buildings communist style flats and the amount of graffiti so much of it in English, calling for anarchy. Not sure whether they're expecting English people to rise up for an anarchy. Anyway, I mean, there's one nation that's never really done anarchy, it's the British. So back in the hotel, oh gosh, I kind of walked around the whole of Leipzig trying to find where lunch was today. But managed to find lunch, had a great lunch, had roast beef with sauerkraut, which was different. Don't think it will replace Yorkshire pudding in my collaborations with roast beef. I have, was part of a seminar which was great in this really lovely, I'll just put a photo in now of this gorgeous room. It's the sort of place you sort of see where um, Haydn and co used to present their symphonies. I have another gig tonight that I'm going to be heading off to soon and then Johnny and I have got to hit the road around about 8am tomorrow if not before. So I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to vlog tomorrow. But I hope you've enjoyed these little trips. Leipzig is a amazing place. I picked up a really rare Coleman Hawkins. Let me just nip and get it. This really rare Coleman Hawkins recording, which I'm really, really thrilled about. So I hope you've enjoyed watching these videos. Please do subscribe. It means I can make better videos for you because YouTube give me more tools, the better I can do it. If you already subscribe, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Please click below on the saxophone player and make sure you check out this video and this video if you haven't seen them already. See you soon, bye.